going on guys it's your man jay will so i just left uh the metro pcs store because you know today is launch day for the uh gte max pro so i got my gte max pro we're gonna go home and unbox this thing and um we're gonna get it on and uh we're gonna tell you uh i guess i'll tell you how i like it um it's a pretty massive phone but it's not too big because i have very large hands uh so it's a pretty painless process <clears throat> excuse me I just uh, got the phone for 99 bucks, and I chose the $30 plan, so I'll basically probably just pay it for three months, and then get the unlock, and then cancel. That's probably what I'm going to go ahead and do. Uh, so it looks phenomenal, so, um, wow. Oh, well, I'll see you guys in a second. Back at the crib. Let's get this dry the beast home. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay Will. So the ZTE Max Pro is in the house. No need for an unboxing. It's just a charger in there. Um, I went on ahead and got it all set up, peeled all the stickers off so I can get into this for you. But taking a look here, you've got 4G LTE on Metro PCS, which is on T-Mobile Network. 6-inch full HD IPS LCD display, 13 megapixel camera on the rear with image stabilization, 5 megapixel front. 32 gigs on board, 2 gigs of RAM, octa-core processor clocked at 1.5 gigahertz, and a fingerprint reader. I actually got that all set up. I didn't want to bore you with it this time, so I got into it. Uh, but wow, I'm just doing my official setup. This phone is going to shake up the industry. Uh, reason being, it may only be available on Metro PCS right now, uh, but this phone uh, definitely is a win based on what I've seen so far. Now, I've signed in, I got everything set up, it's activated, you know, my service is good. Uh, I'm, I'm going through the process and everything. I'm, I'm you know, I'm getting my applications installed. Um, but I, and I wanna, wanted to go ahead and start the video. Uh, wow, let me tell you, uh, the capacitive buttons down here are really nice. They do light up, uh, if you're wondering. Uh, you know, taking a look around this body here, and I'm gonna give you a close up uh, in a little bit uh, of, of this these buttons and things like this. I'm gonna do some steel shots I'll add them in here somewhere, but there's like a hint of gold or orange or something at different angles around the fingerprint reader the camera the LED and the, the power button that is super sexy Wow, it's just a simple highlight uh, actually you can probably see it now um, Something as simple as that really makes this hardware stand out and it's unfortunate that this phone is only available on Metro PCS right now. That's just unfortunate because they could do so much more. This phone would blow and decimate a lot of phones right now. The fingerprint reader is fast enough for me. Um, you know, it might be 0.09 or I don't know, but I don't care about that. It has a fingerprint reader. That's just a point. It has a fingerprint reader. So that alone should excite you. Now let me change this wallpaper to a more colorful wallpaper. Um, let's do something like, you know what, let's do the, well, you can see there, let's do the rose. You can kind of see the, look at that. I mean, talk about beautiful. ZTE has done something that has surprised me. I, I knew about this phone coming out um, and I was so surprised. Now, one thing this phone has that phones, all phones should have is a 2.5D art curved glass. It just makes, it's one of those phones where I, I probably won't, if I put a tempered glass on here, it's just because I'm doing some kind of review unit and then I might take it off. Uh, for hundred bucks, I want this beautiful screen to shine. Now on camera, it might be a little brighter than what it really is in person. You notice I don't use auto. I've always told you guys I have it set at 30 to 45%. Um, but to my amazement, this screen, six inches, I get all of the six inch screen, capacitive buttons down there, that usual Android setup is the back, home, and menu there. Uh, this is a stock Android phone with, with, with bloatware from Metro PCS, all of which you can disable. You can disable everything. I mean, everything. So, 
the phone around. Let's take a, let's take a tour around the phone because I'm super excited about this. I just can't believe how nice this is. Let's zoom a little bit. Then I'll zoom out. So you've got your volume rocker and then your power button here. Now this isn't a ridge. These aren't ridge, but they have some kind of special. Um, maybe oh yeah, they have like the power button is ridge. It's very subtle though. It's a um, very nice simple ridge. The, the volume rockers are not ridge though. And on the back, this is one thing that makes this phone stand out. It's USB Type C. It's USB Type C. You got a microphone down there, and you flip it around. You've got a microphone up there for cancellation and your headphone jack. Wish the headphone jack was on the bottom, but for 99 bucks, I won't complain. On this side, you've got a SIM tray and a SD card adapter. On the back, you can see the fingerprint reader and the LED flash and the 13 megapixel camera. On the front here, you've got the speaker grill for your phone calls so you can hear people. And then you've got that beautiful five megapixel camera on the front. I've already video chatted with Tony P on his and the camera quality on the front is ridiculously nice. Hangouts was super clear. And there's a close up of the buttons there. So let's zoom back out here. The overall appearance of this phone is um, it's really good. Now some might argue, oh, that fingerprint reader isn't that fast. Who cares, man? The phone is $99 and it has a fingerprint reader. That is the most shocking thing that you should be excited about. I mean, the rear mounted speaker, yeah, it's not the loudest, but it is loud. I wish they would have put it on the bottom, but so what they didn't. Uh, I'll take a rear mounted speaker for this price point for the package that I'm getting. I'm getting a 1080p IPS LCD display, which is super bright. And let me check the battery real quick. Sorry, guys, I didn't have the spec sheet pulled up, but let me check the battery. I know people are going to be reading this and saying, oh, Jay, it's, uh, <laughs> it's 3,000. I'm going to do it real quick on video. No problem. I hope you guys bear with me now because the specs are important, but I, didn't, I don't care about them that much. So let's go into ZTE here and let's see if I can find the battery real quick. I think it's 3,000. Let me see here. I'm almost there. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. 3,400. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, uh, 3400, 617 Snapdragon. Uh, yeah. What phone would this compete closely with? The Moto G, the J7, all of which I have in my catalog. I'm not going to put it against the, the ZTE, um, excuse me, the Moto Z because the Moto Z has a much better screen. I've already been playing around with it and, you know, it, it just, I won't even bother doing that. I'll keep it within its limits. Um, it, and it weighs 174 grams, but it actually feels really lightweight, guys. Uh, this is a must. Um, you know, I know I tell you guys, oh, buy this, buy this. Uh, you know, it, if you're in the market and you have Metro PCS, upgrade to this phone, for real. It only has Corning Gorilla Gas 3, but, you know, who cares? It's 99 bucks. Um, and it only has an Adreno 405, but who cares? It's 99 bucks, and it's going to perform well. We already know the Adreno 405 is a proven uh, um GPU and it can handle some gaming. This phone has um, <laughs> friggin' USB Type C and I think it has, I don't know if it has turbo charging, but I'm gonna try it because I have a ton of turbo chargers. It even has Bluetooth 4.1. Now, one downside that I'm very disappointed in, I wanna say it in this video, uh, it doesn't have the 5 gigahertz band. That's a bummer for me, man, because I don't, I mean, I've got internet on here, obviously, I set the plan up, but I really wish this thing would have had the 5 gigahertz band. See? No 5 gigahertz band, that sucks. Uh, but, you know, hey, nonetheless, man, I'm getting a stock Android experience. I mean, and you can really make this thing fly. You know, I already went into the developer mode, but I didn't mess with it yet. I'll crank it down to um, 0.5 if it's not already there. So it's not on 0.5, so let's put it on 0.5. If you put it on zero, it, 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 the phone appears to be extremely fast. Oh, uh, man, you know, wow, totally worth it. 5 megapixel on the front, 13 on the back, image stabilization, LED flash, <clears throat> touch to focus, face detection, HDR. <clears throat> Let's fire up the camera. I took a photo earlier, uh, and I'll go through the settings real quick with you. Uh, the settings are very minimalistic. Uh, there is actually nothing um, uh, spectacular about these settings. <laughs> you know, it's... It's nothing. Let's go to the video. It records in 1080p, 720p, 480p, VGA, and MMS video. You don't see that very often. It also has time lapse though. So, and that's pretty much it. And it's got HDR, you know, the timer, the front camera. Here's, here's the front camera. There you go. The front camera, 
I video chatted with Tony P on uh, Hangouts, and it's actually pretty good. The lighting in here may not, you might not think the camera's quality is good, but let's take a photo right here. And one other thing before I get into that, it has manual mode, just like some high-end phones. And the other modes here are slow motion, uh, multiple exposure, and panorama. So I always do auto. auto. I'm not going to sit up here and tell you, oh, I need manual. I don't need no manual mode. Let me tell you, the front, the the, uh, the camera shutter is actually really, really fast. Um, the quality is actually pretty good, man. It's decent. I'll have more footage up later, but wow. Okay, so yeah, unboxing it hands-on of the ZTE Max Pro. Wow, I was waiting on this. It's $99. I just picked the $30 plan. I know Tony P has some problems where he lives at. They told him you got to get the $50 plan, but... Uh, I, I didn't know they could make you do that. I was kind of worried about that myself when I got to the store. She said, no, pick what you want. And I was like, whoo, thank you. And uh, I immediately shouted out my man, Tony P. I was like, Tony, I, don't, I didn't have to get it. Um, but, yeah, all I can tell you is that this phone is a definite, definite win at $99. Even though this is locked to Metro PCS right now, use the service for 90 days. Give them 90 bucks, basically. You know, give them okay. So the phone is a hundred bucks. Uh, pay thirty dollars for three months. Get the unlock if you don't want the service anymore, and then you can use it on any GSM carrier. There's no Metro PCS branding on the back, it's only at the boot up, which is fine with me. I'm perfectly fine with that. That's cool because I can change this to make this however I want. I'm going to use it on T Mobile, and T Mobile will probably get this. Uh, but I already have it now, so I'm just going to pay on this for three months pretty much. I might even keep it because I've never had. Um, I, that means I have like four phones. <laughs> I've never had Metro PCS, but it runs on T-Mobile's network. So I'm curious to see how this LTE coverage will be out and about. So I know T-Mobile is prioritized with this company, which means that T-Mobile's comes first if we run into congestion. So uh, we shall see how that works, how to take a step. Again, the specs, 6-inch, 1080p, IPS display, Android 6.0.1. If I didn't go in there, let me go in there now. Super excited, man. You can never have too many. And there you are, marshmallow. There you go. So that's hot. Um, 3,400 milliamp hour battery. This thing should be a monster uh, on, on, on battery life. But we shall see. I haven't charged it or anything. I pulled it right out of the box and started setting it up. And when I started setting it up, it was at 92%. And it's been going for a little bit. And it's at 80% now. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I think this is, is going to be really good. The fact that it has a fingerprint reader, uh, let's get into CPU X real quick. Because um, some of these have been uh, not working right. These, these things uh, have been giving out the wrong information. But I've learned that CPU X has been a little bit more accurate uh, than, than the other one than the CPU Z. Now, no offense to CPU Z, the creator of that is a great app. I've always used it up until current day. Uh, but uh, CPU X has definitely been more accurate. So let's, here we go, let's get into it. So you've got your eight cores, and I just wanna go straight to the bottom. Down here, I wanna see the processor. So yes, it's an MSM8952. So if you don't know what that is, that's the 617. So this is accurate. This is why I switched over to using uh, X. This thing comes with ads. Uh, so here we go. You've got the Z981 is the um, uh, the model number. If you're wondering about that, let me zoom a little bit. You've got 1080p by 1920. That's very rare that it actually shows all of this in here. Uh, of the storage, you get 2454 out of the 32 because the system needs to use some. Uh, and I want to get over to the sensors. Battery's good. Here we go. Support it, support it, support it, support it. Barometer is not supported. Pressure is not supported. NFC not supported. Temperature not supported. Other than that, all these are supported. So there you have it, folks. It's your man, Jay Will. Uh, we're going to get into some serious competition with this thing. Uh, ZTE has just shook up the industry. I can go on record saying that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for more. I'll let you at your man, Jay Will. You know, I got to try to bring you all the exclusives as they come out. And this is within my budget, too, by the way. I'm not front. This is 99 bucks. I paid 130 bucks, and I walked out the store with this with service. Unlimited talking text on Metro PCS with one gig. Uh, I think Tony got the five gigs for the, for the 50 bucks. Something. I don't know. If you run into a problem uh, with getting this phone and you're getting ready to buy it, tell him Jay Will uh, said that to give you the $30 plan. <laughs> I'll let you
face. I'm gonna put some close ups up, probably. Stay tuned. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah.